This is not a typical building. This is one of the most sustainable buildings in the world, the Edge Olympic in the Dutch capital, Amsterdam. With smart technologies, it's reducing its energy consumption. This window by Dutch startup Fizzy even produces energy itself. A very smart window solution, which is making use of reflecting light through the window, through foil, to then actually put solar panels in the frame on the sides. This window on a sunny day has enough energy for me to be able to charge my phone on this uh, little connection device right here. Sandra Gritty works in the building and is part of the EDGE team. She explains that every user of the building can contribute to saving energy by adjusting their workspace to their needs. One of the features that we have in an application for every user in the building is to change light and temperature settings. Um, as a default in this building, we have the temperature, the light a little bit dimmed um, because you don't always need maximum light. That also saves a lot of energy, and then we allow individuals to basically increase or decrease the light as they want. So here on my application, I can press the light button and then, for example, put the light up to maximum possibility or even, you know, totally dim it off if I'm doing a presentation. So also on temperature, I can also say, hey, I'm now connected to this room, and then in this space, I can make it you know, two degrees warmer or two degrees cooler, depending on what my preferences would be. Energy expert Clay Nessler welcomes that technology is allowing people direct control of their environment. Instead of designing lighting levels and comfort levels for the worst possible case, by adding flexibility and giving people the ability to adjust their environment, it saves significant amounts of uh, energy. So technology is a key enabler. And this is truly a scalable technology, not just in the global north and in modern major cities, but this technology can be brought anywhere in the world. To understand where energy is consumed and possibly wasted, lots of data is collected at the EDGE Olympic. Well, EDGE Olympic basically is uh, created as an IoT-enabled building. So IoT is the Internet of Things. We have thousands and thousands of sensors in this building which measure everything from um, temperature, air quality, presence, where are people in the building. And then we all put that together into one what we call an IP backbone. It's basically like the spine which goes through the building and connects all this data into one point and then brings that into the cloud. With solar panels on its roof, EDGE Olympic produces its own energy. Thanks to its energy-saving measures, it uses three times less energy than comparable office buildings. The rooftop terrace is full of different plants to reduce the amount of heat that comes through the roof. Inside the building, biophilic workspaces provide a healthy climate. Edge Olympic is made of refurbished building materials and was built with a circular economy mindset. According to climate expert Clay Nessler, this also reduces greenhouse gas emissions. There's a lot of uh, greenhouse gas emissions in the materials of construction. Cement, steel, glass are very energy intensive to manufacture and typically use fossil fuels uh, in their manufacture. And steel and cement also produce greenhouse gas emissions through the process of, of creating them. A digital twin of the building will help to recycle and upcycle the used materials in the future. If the building is dismantled at some point, we can easily find all the information of what could be reused and where could it be resold so that material gets a new life. Sandra Gritty says the EDGE wants to inspire people to live more sustainably. You see all the plants, you see the atria, you see the, the facade which has been reused as a floor on the ground floor. There's so many elements in there where we try to basically make people aware of it. Um, and make it, we have a conscious mindset on sustainability, also with the food and beverage and everything which is happening around here, that um, you almost cannot help yourself but live a sustainable life when you're in this building. <laughs> what do you think? Would you like to work in a high-tech building like this one? Share your opinion in the comments.